Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. So, what are the three frameworks that I would pay attention to in uh, 2019? I'm recording this the first week of December 2018. So 2019 is around the corner. And I got my finger to the, uh, to the nerd air. And what I think is going to happen in terms of frameworks, there's three that you should pay attention to. I think you're going to see a, a greater growth of the Vue framework, Vue.js. This is a front-end JavaScript framework that will make that makes putting together UIs easier on the front end. Why do I pick Vue? Because it's a nice blend of uh, of uh, simplicity with capability. Whereas other frameworks out there like Angular and uh, React, I think are much more complex, relatively speaking. From what I've seen, for us, we're going to be implementing Vue in, uh, I guess, a quarter one of 2019. First, you know, January, February, March of 2019, we're going to be imp implementing Vue on our backend system for our my uh, Studio Web SaaS, rather than Angular or React. Um, we'll see how that goes. I'll keep you informed in that regard. So the next framework, which I think is going to gain more traction over 2019 and beyond, is Google's Flutter, which is a framework that basically allows you to write mobile apps with one code base. And Flutter is an interesting project because it basically compiles down to native and um, it's kind of a hybrid approach where you do have some native code in there apparently, but you can write most of your stuff using Dart, the language Dart, which is very similar to JavaScript. And they're even coming out with now a web layer as well. So when you write your when you write your Flutter code, you you could put out iOS based apps, you could put out Android based apps and of course you could put out now well, not of course but now they're looking at the web as well so it looks very interesting to me one of the things that attracts me to the flutter framework was the fact that they do provide a very high level layer of code for UI elements and so on but you could write with dart and it's very simple to get things done but they also give you the option to be able to go much lower down for more processor intensive type of things or maybe the way you want your app to react is not within the specifications that you see in the higher level Dart objects. So they provide this lower level so that you can get dirtier and more specific into the code. So you can do exactly what you need to do. I like that hybrid approach, that option, optional approach that you have there. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, it looks very promising. I know that Alibaba, I believe it was, yeah, it was Alibaba, they wrote their mobile app in Flutter, which and it supports 50 million users. So clearly, Flutter-based applications for mobile do scale and can handle huge volumes. That's a good thing. So Flutter is the second framework I would be looking into for 2019. The final framework I look at is now the back-end framework. I covered the front-end framework, which was Vue.js. I covered the back-end framework, which was, uh, excuse me, I covered the mobile framework, which was Flutter. And the final framework I would pay attention to a little bit more is the back-end framework, Laravel. This is the PHP framework. Now you guys who hate PHP are going, no, Steph, what about this, that, the other thing? I think with Laravel, People even outside of the PHP community are starting to see how significant a framework it is. And the people, the guy who invented Laravel, he basically grabbed the best of other frameworks and put it together with his own mix. And he's got a, a really good product. We've been using Laravel for a few years now. And the new Studio F4 is entirely built on Laravel. So I think... Uh, I think it's something to pay attention to and uh, the reason I think it's something to pay attention to is because people are starting to realize now that PHP is not this garbage language. They're starting to realize that PHP 7, what we're currently on now, is not PHP 3. Big difference. And so given how light and nimble PHP is, given how uh, processor, 
how processor efficient it is relative to Ruby or Python. Small and medium-sized businesses use PHP like crazy. I think that uh, Laravel is going to be a very good thing to look at in terms of uh, in terms of frameworks for 2019. Doesn't mean you have to jump onto it, but I'll tell you what about Laravel. Laravel implements all the best practices. It you know whether you like PHP or not, the way the Laravel framework is put together is quite intelligent. And it just works really, really well. So even if you jumped into Laravel for a few projects for some clients and you decide you want to move over to some other language, the fact that you've learned Laravel and you understand how it works, you will be basically taking a master class there in learning a, uh, a well-structured framework. Again, going back to my philosophy of coding and the developer's lifestyle, the misconception out there by a lot of people is that you have to learn all kinds of stuff and learn all these frameworks and then you become a pro. And then you just sail along with that set of skills. It doesn't work that way. The reality of the situation is that a developer is constantly learning, always looking at learning new tech depending on the needs of the particular project I, at hand. I would walk into clients' meetings and I would go over whatever, whatever as a freelancer, and I would go over whatever project uh, they had and then I would choose a technology stack based on uh, the needs of the project. Sometimes it would be Java, sometimes it would be C Sharp.net, sometimes it would be a PHP, sometimes it would be, you know, you get the idea. And sometimes we go into these really weird niche languages that suited that particular project. And, uh, but having that background and the foundations and the fundamentals made it e very easy for me to learn this framework, that framework, this language, that language. I can literally be up and running. Any of my students, you'll see, I'll put some quotes here in the video. My students, they've said, that they, they've mentioned just after doing my foundations course, they feel very comfortable learning new languages, new frameworks, and some have. They just went from learning JavaScript, Python with me, and then they said, oh, I wanna learn Swift like this they swiftly learn swift because it's all based on the same fundamentals it's all based on the same fundamentals anyway to conclude the three frameworks I would look at front end view for 2019 mobile I would look at flutter and back end full stack I would look at Laravel uh, by the way Laravel implements view as well so um, there you have it. I hope you found this vlog useful. Bye-bye.